Yes, sir, now I'm up to my ears in a wonderland of all kinds of plush toys. Collie dogs, bears, monkeys, donkeys, elephants. Every six seconds, eight hours a day, five days a week, some kind of a man-made doll or animal is born here on this assembly line of human hands and machinery. Now, this little fellow's beginning, like the beginning of all of these plush animals, started with an idea. The idea usually pops into the head of master toy maker Joe Berkowitz, who confers with designer Henry Gutentag. The designer then cuts out cardboard patterns, which I don't understand at all, but he does, and that's all that counts. Drawings outlining those cardboard patterns are then copied in pencil designs, usually by his lady artist assistant. That sheet of drawings is then placed on top of some 24 stretched out rolls of plush cloth. And a cutter with those electric scissors follows the pattern to cut off squares, circles, or what have you shapes in cloth. All those shapes of cloth now go to the sewing department where these girls stitch the right ones together to form what you might call the body skin of the toy. The bodies get their heads here and their arms, in fact, all kinds of limbs. These girls work in an assembly line, you might say. Some sew only the legs to the body. Then they pass the body along to another girl who adds some other part to the toy. There are all kinds of body and skin combinations because there are so many different kinds of animals and dolls. For those who need eyes, this is where they get them. This girl is operating the eye machine. So here in the wiring department, they get whatever wire bones they need to assume some kind of position during their lifetime. Next, along the assembly line, is the manual stuffing department. Now, these men use iron rods to stuff an animal's arms or legs where it's hard to get to. This girl here also adds some sound gimmicks if the animal or doll needs it, like this little bear. This is where he gets his squeak. And here's what they call the ribbon department, where the toys get all kinds of decorations. The dogs get their collars, the monkeys their chains, the mules get their saddles and bridles, and they all get their identification tag. And a final wind bath before being boxed, bagged, and mailed to stores around America.